getting good at art is like getting good at a musical instrument. It's uh, one of those things that um, you have to practice, and if you don't, if you don't put in the hours, you don't get better and better at it. So. Um, when people start off in art, they often have the illusion that if they simply have the inspiration and the talent, it will happen. You know, that if they're not creating great art, they must not have been inspired properly. Well, you've got to learn to play the instrument. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is brought to you by Fintana Fine Art, Santa Fe, New Mexico. My name is Doug Dawson. I live in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, which is just outside Denver. I'm known primarily as a pastel painter, but I work in pastel and in oil. For me, I knew from the time I was little that art was an area I had a talent for. It was about the only positive thing that, that my teachers and my parents could talk about. They'd say, well, I don't know what else we can say, but he can, he can draw. So. <laughs> I knew from an early age I had a talent for art, but I rejected it. I really put it on hold for a long time, partly because it seemed to come so easy for me. So it was later in life, actually, uh, when I was in uh, college that I came back to art, and it was more of a compulsion. I decided that uh, it, it really gave me more pleasure in life than anything else I could do. And I made a decision to try to figure out how to make my living as an artist. When I first started out, uh, it was more about just expressing raw emotion. I started off as a figure painter. Uh, there's themes involved in night theme or setting sun theme or traditional landscape theme. are all themes that um, I've done work in. I don't really start off for the most part with a drawing. I just start in by blocking in shapes, by shading as it were and build up layers of shading and um, uh, in that way painting is more like sculpture. It's, it's more about shape and less about the edges of things. I also get a great deal of pleasure out of just the design aspect of it. But that wasn't as, as, as important an element for me when I started. The longer I've worked, more and more of my pleasure is in just the love of the material and how it goes down and in the love of the underlying abstractions of shapes and colors and values and edge quality and things like that. Sometimes some of the things that inspire me are other artists work from the past or you know so and um, so I might see somebody who has painted a particular subject and I think I really like that. You know, I'll, I'll try my hand at that. Maybe they did it in oil. Maybe uh, I'll try my hand at it in pastel. What somebody did when they first created the banjo, they sort of combined the idea of a guitar and a drum and they came up with something that was new and different. That is part of what I do. But probably most of my painting has to do with simply taking an idea and exploring a little variation on it. I found myself in recent years occasionally stopping with a piece and walking away and leaving it and going on to other pieces. It's sort of like being able to come back to a crossword puzzle where I still have a few words that I can fill in and therefore I'm still involved in it. Once I've finished off everything, it's no longer part of me. So I was finding myself just sort of leaving it at a stage where I could still come back and enjoy being involved with solving a problem. I want my art to express a feeling. You know, what I'm after is I would like a painting of mine to evoke a, a, a response in the viewer. And that is probably the most confirming thing for me that I've been successful if somebody tells me they were really moved by a painting they saw. I look for the visual melody that will leave somebody humming. Art that fails to communicate fails. It needs to communicate on some level. 
That is the greatest compliment to me, is when somebody simply responds on an emotional level that they see one of my paintings and it causes them to feel something. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is brought to you by Fintana Fine Art, Santa Fe, New Mexico. To learn more about Doug Dawson and to see some of his work, please visit VintanaFineArt.com.